Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we'll look at the most common questions I got in the over 1500 comments on my initial virtual desktop tutorial. By the way, I've released an updated version of the installation process, so feel free to check it out at the link in the description as well as up here somewhere. All right, let's go. Okay, let's jump straight into the first question, which is, do I need good internet? And I've gotten this question quite a bit. And the answer is no, you don't. Virtual desktop runs on your home network, so no need for fast internet. As long as you ensure everything is set up correctly, it will work great. Next, do I need a good PC? And you kind of do, yes. Like there are some services such as Shadow PC or the upcoming Plutosphere that offer a PC in the cloud as a service. But for now, Shadow has a long waiting list and Plutosphere isn't even launched. So you need your own PC or laptop to use virtual desktop on your Quest or Quest 2. Next, this one is somewhat tied to the previous one and it's do you need a powerful PC to run virtual desktop? And of course, it depends on your definition of powerful, I guess, but you do need a fairly capable computer that meets the minimum specifications of VR. As stated by Oculus, these are an Intel i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 or greater processor, at least 8GB of RAM and an Nvidia GTX 1060 or Ryzen RX 480. The next one seems to have happened to a lot of people and it's if I bought virtual desktop from Steam VR since it was cheaper, can I use that? And the answer is, sadly, you won't be able to use it for wireless PC VR since virtual desktop needs an app to be installed on your Quest and the Steam version can only be installed on your PC. Do note that if you haven't used it for more than two hours and you probably haven't since it doesn't work, you can ask for a refund from Steam and buy it on Oculus instead. For all the Apple fans out there, the next question is, if I have a Mac, can I still use virtual desktop? And yes, you can still use it, but on Mac it will only work for desktop streaming and not playing games since Apple doesn't support VR. Sorry. Next! This actually happened to me the first time I installed virtual desktop and the question is, I'm seeing black bars when I turn my head, what's going on? And while there are many reasons why this might be happening, you're most likely experiencing high latency, which can be caused by a few culprits. First of all, make sure your PC is connected via wire to your router and that the Quest is connected to a dedicated 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. If that's already sorted, then you'll need to jump into virtual desktop settings and play around with the bitrate and quality settings until you find a good balance between quality and latency. Next! This one also happened to me a few times and it's quite frustrating when it happens. And the question is, I'm trying to play games from Steam, but they start in non-VR mode. How do I fix it? Thankfully, the answer is pretty straightforward. Games that have both VR and non-VR modes, like Assetto Corsa, No Man's Sky, etc., need to be started with VR enabled. And you can do that by either toggling it on in the game settings or even easier by simply starting the games from the virtual desktop menu instead of directly from Steam. No. For those of you who like to use VR for productivity, quite a few viewers were wondering, can I use a wired keyboard and mouse with virtual desktop? And yes, you absolutely can use a wired keyboard, mouse, racing wheel, or anything else that would normally work on your computer. Of course, if we're talking about a dedicated VR game like let's say Half-Life Alex, you won't be able to play it with a keyboard and mouse since it's not supported. But that would kind of ruin the immersion anyway. You definitely need to be pretty close to your PC to be able to use wired peripherals, but the next question is, is there a certain maximum range between the PC and the headset? The short answer is there's no recommended range. So as long as your Quest has a good Wi-Fi signal and the PC is connected via wire to that same network, you'll be good for wireless PC VR in any room of your house and even in your garden. Just make sure not to expose the headset lenses to direct sunlight. Next! All right, VR chat lovers, some of you have been wondering, can I play the PC version of VR chat using this? All the games will run on your PC and are streamed to your Quest wirelessly, so yes, you'll be able to use the PC version of VRChat through virtual desktop. Another big chunk of comments was, can I play Roblox or Minecraft VR with virtual desktop? And you absolutely can, provided of course your PC is VR ready. For the ones that like to tinker with their games and maybe make them better, the no. question is, can you mod Beat Saber, Blade and Sorcery, etc. when playing through virtual desktop? And again, since all the games run on your computer, you can 
can install any modes you'd like since Virtual Desktop is simply a wireless way of transmitting data to and from your Quest. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or join the VRM Club Discord server and ask there. And by the way, you can also enter the monthly game giveaway that we're running over there because free stuff is always nice, right? I'll catch you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye!